Another American carrier strike group speeds toward the region. The USS Dwight D. Eisenhower aircraft carrier will join the USS Gerald R. Ford carrier strike group that's locked and loaded in the eastern Mediterranean. Our main goal by positioning uh, not one, but a second carrier will be there soon, is um, to send a message of deterrence, to say to actors in the region who think that they might want to take advantage of this conflict, do not do that. Sailors aboard the USS Ford, America's biggest and baddest warship, had been wrapping up their six-month deployment. Now, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin has extended the deployment of the Ford, along with the cruiser and destroyer ships sailing with it, without stating an end date. Three ships with the USS Bataan Amphibious Ready Group are positioning thousands of Marines in waters near Israel. Marines able to penetrate hostile territory or provide medical care and assistance. A squadron of A-10 attack aircraft has arrived in the Middle East with another A-10 squadron's deployment extended. And more F-15 and F-16 fighter jets also are rolling in as concerns grow that Hezbollah could join the fight from the north once an expected ground invasion of Gaza begins. The Hezbollah has something like 200,000 rockets and missiles. The ability to strike those positions would be incredibly important. These force packages create that opportunity or that option. In addition to boosting its military presence, the U.S. has sent at least five C-17s carrying military aid for Israel Defense Forces. We are certainly uh, giving Israel the security assistance it needs to take out and, and to um, effectively push back on Hamas in Gaza. Again, I will reiterate as many times as you want, that does not mean the killing of innocent civilians. U.S. defense officials say the administration is providing Israel with precision munitions and interceptor missiles for its Iron Dome air defense system. With more to come. Carla Babb, VOA News, The Pentagon.